What's up, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? Jesse back again for another Black Series action figure review. And this is actually the first uh, Black Series action figure I've done this year, I think. It's been well over three months since I've done a done a review of these, and it's it's been a long time between figures. Um, but I've got full wave 20 right here, ready to, ready to review. And uh, I thought we'd kick off with the badass Jedi Master, Mace Windu. Here's number 82. As you can see there on the side. There's the back of the box. A Grim Jedi Master with an amethyst bladed lightsaber. Mace Windu was the champion of the Jedi Order. With little tolerance for the failings of the Senate, the arguments of politicians, or the opinions of rebellious Jedi. Great picture there from Gregory Titus. Always does a good job of these. So we'll get the box out of the way. Onto the figure. Now this is the first Jedi we've seen in the Black Series line. It's come with a robe. Um, aside from old Ben Kenobi. Um, I hope it's something that continues in the future. It is something that probably they should have been doing the whole time. It just adds a little extra accessory to them. And it's a uh, it's pretty good robe, really. It looks it looks good. It sits sits reasonably well. Um, the, the cut of it's well, nice. It's the cut of the sleeves there, the way the hood sort of falls back down, looks good. Obviously, you can get a lot a lot of custom ones out there that have a lot of wires in them and stuff, so you can really pose them and have that wrapped over their head nicely but I think this looks alright and as far as we've seen the Obi-Wan Kenobi from episode 1 that's going to be the exclusive for our Star Wars celebration in Chicago isn't going to come with one so we'll see if they decide to include that with the regular release uh, later this year so it comes off quite Easily over there, accessory wise, he's got his lightsaber, which is nicely done. And the purple blade, which pops in. Now, this is probably the disappointing thing for me with this figure is if you look at the little bit on the end of that blade, that's that's all you've got to work with with pegging this in. Now, uh, that's, it's not overly strong, so I'm, I'm concerned that this is going to break at some stage, so I may end up gluing this in, um, just because I don't want to damage that. And that's a very thin little piece of plastic there on the end of the, end of the blade there. But it does plug in. Nice and snug. But, yeah, you can already see it's a little, it's a little wobbly, so... That may be getting glued in place. Just uh, if you're gonna pop it out for the first time, just run it under some hot water in the sink, um, and that should loosen the plastic up a little bit, so you can get it out nice and cleanly without risking breaking that little peg. But the blades are nice purple; it looks good. To the figure itself, really nicely sculpted this one. And this paint app's really shining through for Hasbro as well. That's an incredible likeness. Looks fantastic. I've, uh, I don't yet have the SH Figure Arts one to compare to. Um, I hope to get that one at some point. But this is a this is a really good looking Mace Windu. Jedi robes, the tunic, the belt. And I've got a little bit of extra plastic in the mold. Where are that for this soft plastic? But I'm just gonna slice that off and I just touch up the top of the pouch with a bit of bit of brown. So it's, it's a little disappointing, but it's on the back of the figure and you're not gonna see that too often, so that's not so bad. Just the texture of the mold and the fabric there looks good. White pants. Brown boots, they look good. 
Overall, just the sculpt of the figure, the, like the way the joints are sort of put in the mould there as well. That looks good. It's a nice, nice clean looking figure. I like it a lot. Articulation wise, he has got the ball jointed head, ball jointed neck. Uh, we'll go down to the bottom, work our way up. Ball hinged ankles, double jointed knees, swivel cut at the thighs there. Uh, ball hinged hips there, the torso joint, and we've also got hidden under here are some butterfly joints, which they're starting to creep out onto some of these figures. And what this means is that this arm just moves in so much more. Um, and the, the tunic on the outer tunic here is actually a separate piece, as you can see. That's all a separate piece over the actual body of the of mace there. And if we swing the arm open. You can just sort of see that butterfly joint moving backwards and forth. Um, I'd completely missed that on the Imperial Patrol Trooper. Um, it's there. I completely missed it. That's how well they've covered, they've, um, they've put it together. Basically what this means is you can really bring those arms together. It's a little tight. So again, if you run the figure under some hot water, it just gives that plastic on the tunic there a little flex. Um, and then you can get the arms into place a little more and as that plastic cools down it will stay molded in the way and you won't get any of this sort of spring back or you'll get a little bit less of that spring back action anyway but joints in the elbows and the wrists so all around you're going to get some good good poses out of this guy And it's great to get some more prequel love for the Black Series line. And we've got a couple of figures, a couple of extra figures from the prequels in this wave. So stay tuned. Got some more reviews coming soon. I'm recording them all now. But uh, yeah, Mace is a good one. I'm really impressed with this figure. Really happy to have it in the collection. So thank you all very much for watching. Any comments, just drop them below. And until my next video, may the force be with you.